Hi everyone, my name is Tony Wallet and welcome to another exciting episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to basically download and install on Nexus Mod Manager Caliente's Beautiful Bodies Enhancer CBBE by Onius, Jeer, and Caliente. I will also how to show you how to I will also show you how to download and install uh, Body Slide and Outfit Studio by Onius and Caliente. You will you will definitely need Grutama's skeleton, the XP32 Maximum Skeleton Special Edition Extended. It's XPS XPM SSE by Grutama. You will need to download and install this for the skeleton on Nexus Mod Manager as well. Now the first thing you want to do is download the mods. You can do them directly to your mod manager through Nexus if you have it if you're logged in with the links, and then you will install it like you would any other mod. I'm going to do it manually and I'm going to show you the prompts when they pop up. I've already installed Body Slide. Is all you do is basically load it and install it. There's nothing special. Now these other two mods do require a little creativity, so I will have to show you how to do that. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to install them. First will be Caliente's because this does take the longest. Alright, so what we're going to do next is we're going to install Caliente's body. We're going to click on it. By the way, while this is doing, I'm going to show you. You want the newest version of Body Slide. Non-negotiable. It's for the new body of CBB, so make sure you have it, okay? And it was uploaded on September 28th. Now, this video might become out of date for other installations uh, videos, um, but this is what you want to do. And I do have that new version of Body Slide installed. 4.3.2. Uh, uh, Alright, now you're going to install Caliente's actual body as it's, there will be a prompt that will pop up shortly. Alright, once it pops up, you'll see you have a couple of options. Slim, curved, vanilla, underwear, nude, vanilla outfits, face packs, pubic hair, and skin, no skin maps. We're going to keep it on vanilla shape and we'll keep it on uh, new, never nude. You click finish. All right, once it's fully installed, what you want to do is you want to go down and bring in the skeleton. Pull that next. You're going to load it up. Give it a moment. If you're using the physics, you may want to use this skeleton, the BBPE, if you're going to be using it for, for animations and moving. So make sure that's installed. Click next. If you have joy perspective, make sure that's put on. And for first person, you usually, usually use the default. Click next. If you want to add uh, the sword or the belt quiver or um, the, the, the back hip for the skeleton, you can do that as well for the dagger on the back of the hip. And you know, let's make sure you have your plug in, okay? Now we're just going to install it. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you're, now that you have everything installed, you want to make sure that this is installed and it's above here, right? You're going to want to now install body slide. You're going to go down to body slide, you're going to right click, and you're going to find your Steam folder. common. You're going to go down to special edition, your data folder, find Caliente tools, and you're going to click on body slide. This is the one you want. Click OK. Now you're going to load it up. You're going to click, now you're going to left click. And that'll open up your body. So the first thing you're going to want to do, as you notice, there are physics. I, right now I'm still experimenting on how to do that. I will show you in a tutorial on another video how to make sure you get your physics to work. But for right now, we're going to work on the never nude body. All right, we're going to load this up. As you can see, here, the never nude body is here, and I've got it on chubby. Makes the body a little bit more thick. Now you can adjust the body slides accordingly, and when you're doing all this, you can your distance and all that, you do a preview, it shows you what it looks like. How the body will look. Okay. Now if you're getting a specific type of um, glitch here, let's just do this, I'll give you an idea. If you're getting this, the reason you're getting that is because your texture your, your, your game path file and your settings over here isn't connected to your Skyrim uh, Special Edition data folder. This is a game path. In order to get the textures for the body, you need to go to your browse. You need to find your Steam folder, wherever it is on your hard drives or hard drives. Steam folder. You're going to go down to your Steam apps, common, Special Edition, and then click on your data folder. Click select, click OK, and then as you can see, now you have your textures back. Okay, so if you're having that issue, that's what's going on. Now, we're going to build our body. So you're going to build your body, right? Okay, but there's a problem. Now we need to make sure we do the hands and feet. So you're going to go to hands. You're going to leave your preset the same. If you change the preset, it'll change the body, which is going to mess it up. Leave the preset the same. Preview your hands. You can see back and forth. Click out. Click build. And now you're going to do the feet, the same exact thing. Preview. Okay. And now you click build. 
All right, now we're not done. We need to do clothing. As you can see, the clothing's up here, but that's a lot of clothing we'd have to go through. So what we're gonna do is call the batch build. Click batch, we're gonna make sure all these are selected, except for the body, the physics, the feet, the hands, and we're gonna keep never nude. All right, so now we're gonna build on our preset what we just did. Now you're gonna click build. You don't need any of these selected since you already have them selected. And the hands and feet are already in there for the Dawn Guard and everything else. Now you're just gonna click build, okay? What this is doing is making sure that whatever those items are in the game, they're set to the actual body of the game. The, the game did the game body, so it doesn't it doesn't cause any clipping or anything like that. All right, it was successful. Now we're gonna click exit. All right, now I'm gonna show you what the body looks like and how it works properly. Make sure your finesse, uh, your XPS uh, is loaded. You have your alternative start, so you can test your body out. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna load up the game. All right, everyone. As you can see, we've logged on. We've logged online. So we're gonna go change the sex to, to the female body. And now you can see it's like any other time you can load up the body, big or small, with your new body. And as you can see down here, there's no seams around the arms or the neck. It looks very, very nice. Now, if you don't have the preset, you'll end up, you might end up seeing seams around the arms, the neck, and the, and the feet. But um, as long as you keep the preset the same when you build the body and you do the batch build, everything should be fine. You can change your skin tone as well. It works perfect because Caliente comes with its own textures. Now, if you want to use your own textures for the new body, you will need CBB only body textures um, conversions for it. So you need the CBB texture version, not the UNP. If you use the UNP, they will have conflicts with the body, and that, that is unfortunately at that point you're on your own. However, if you do have, um, you can override Caliente's with another another um, another uh, skin texture. Just all you do is load that one. Um, after you load Caliente's body, okay? So load that texture on there. And, and next is one. Now we're gonna, we're gonna load, load the character. We're gonna show you the body. And we'll put it testa. As you can see, this, the, the with the batch build, the um, there's really not there's not really any clipping with the with 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 the with the body. All you're seeing there is that's uh, that's from the shadows of the game. Now the body looks really nice. It works with the feet. Go through the um, the meshes very very uh, plainly and as you can see we're now going to take, out the, take the clothes off as you can see and you can get a nice uh, view of the, of the never new body as you can see the body looks very very nice you can see right here near the feet there's no seams um, the body looks nice and very crispy very 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 um, high polygons and look there's no neck seam isn't that amazing and you built this your, and you, know, you can now build it yourself so I just want to show you that and, and let's show you what the clothing looks like too just a little bit how it curves to the body I know just a place to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and show you. All right, so we're coming here right here. We're going to get some clothes. So we'll just do the kind of the basics. We'll do the robe, and then apron. We'll do uh, the blue robe, show you how that looks. We'll do a, um, we'll do a college robe, because that's what we're looking for. The dress. See how this looks? And then we'll do one more. Um, this is kind of an idea, just kind of give you an idea of what they look like. All right, so let's go outside. All right, so here's some really good light. We can show you um, some of the bodies and the clothes. All right, so we're going to switch the clothes to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. As you can see, the body is sculpted when you did the batch build. So it looks nice. It, it moves seamlessly through the body with the dress. Now let's do um, rope here. Okay, that looks very, very nice. It's molded around the body, so it looks a little bigger around her hips. Now let's do a college robe, because this is, this is the one that's going to be a little funky. All right, as you can see, the hips are a little bit bigger with the body. So when, with the batch build actually created that for us, it, does, it moves pretty much seamlessly with the hands and the feet, because it created with the body, which is what we want. Right there, as you can see, no issues there. You can also do the feet, too, so we can just take off the feet. So we'll do, um, see, the feet look really nice. There's no, there's no, there's any clipping. Now we'll do the hammer fell last but not least with the pants. All right, as you can see, there's the um, there's the there's the body how it moves and all that. All right, guys, that's it for for our for our tutorial. I want to thank you guys for uh, 
I, want, I honestly want to thank you guys for you know checking out my videos, and we, I do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you guys like my videos, please go ahead and like and share with your friends. If you guys like my uh, channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Please also give uh, the anyone give the body slide an endorsement. Give Caliente um, Caliente's beautiful body enhancer an endorsement mod, along with um, Grutama's exoskeleton as well. Once again, my name's Tony Olay. Thanks for the click, and I'll see you next time.